Hey friends, Will here, and today I want to talk to you about the easiest way to get music and sound effects into Final Cut Pro so that you can use them project to project without having to keep importing them into different libraries and different projects. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get into it. So yeah, um, you might have noticed in Final Cut they've got this uh, little kind of sound music section here in the browser and there's this sound effects section uh, which has got all of this kind of built-in sound effects and music that comes with Final Cut Pro. Um, I never really use any of those sound effects and music. I've got my own choice of music and my own sound effects that I have kind of collected over the years and they're the ones that I keep finding that I'm importing project after project and wanting to use. So um, I started to think how can we get them into that sound effects panel so that they're just there and I don't have to import them into every library that I'm working on. So after a little bit of digging around, I figured out how to do it and I just thought that might be helpful uh, to other people. So I thought I'd do a quick video on it. So uh, yeah, if we go in here, um, into my screen, here we are in Final Cut. And as I say, yeah, in the browser, this is where your footage goes. And then this is our text and effects and stuff. And then in this middle one, we've got Photos, GarageBand, iTunes, and Sound Effects. Now these three, Photos, GarageBand, and iTunes, they're all pretty self-explanatory, I would say. This Sound Effects one seems to just be, you know, you don't seem to be able to get to these. Um, and I just found that I was constantly dragging the same sound effects, the same music tracks uh, that I use for my videos into libraries and importing them every time. So I thought there must be a way to use this. So after a bit of research, uh, here's what I've come up with. So in the Finder, what we have got, if you go to the uh, Macintosh HD, your, your root folder, it might be called something different. In my case, uh, it's Macintosh HD. And then we come into this library folder and then we've got audio, click on that. And then you'll have an Apple Loops folder Apple and then Final Cut Pro sound effects and in here these are all of the sound effects which you will find within Final Cut in that sound effects folder so whatever you put into that folder will appear in Final Cut which is awesome however that's a bit buried that folder and it's not necessarily the easiest to browse to so I found another quick way which means you can still have your kind of folder full of music and sound effects somewhere easily accessible but also showing in there so I'll show you that now um, I have got this folder here music and sound effects so this is where I sort of keep stuff I use epidemic sounds for a lot of my music and sound effects so here are kind of the sound effects and music which I've used over and over again in my weekly videos I keep so you know these are the songs that I like and the sound effects that I tend to use quite often so these are the ones that it would be nice to have access to um, and then I've also got some transition sounds so what we can do right is we can uh, choose the folder that we want to put in and as I said before I could just copy that folder and paste it into that sort of buried folder structure that I showed you a moment ago and they would appear but then if ever I wanted to add to it or change it I'd have to go back to that same location to do so but what we can do instead is we can uh, right click on our folder and we can say make alias and just leave it called alias and then we can do the same thing uh, with our other folders that we want to appear like so and this final one make alias there we go so then we've got these three alias folders which I'm going to select and then I'm going to command C to copy them Okay, so then if I go back to that other folder, uh, Macintosh HD, Library, Audio, Apple Loops, Apple, Final Cut Pro Sound Effects, and then paste them in there, those three aliases appear. Okay, then what I can do is I can go back to where I started from. I can delete these aliases now because I don't need them anymore. 
So what an alias is, is it's like, if you're used to Windows, it's a shortcut. So it's not actually the folder, but it points at the folder. And it's really helpful because it means we essentially have one folder, but it can be referenced from different places, which is quite helpful. So now what I need to do is I need to quit Final Cut because it won't recognize those new folders. It only looks for new folders when it starts up. So I've done that. And now if I reopen Final Cut, then now when I come into my sound effects folder and I click on this folder at the top, then I've got the uh, ES sound effects alias. Click on that. There are all of the sound effects from Epidemic Sounds. Uh, I can look up here, WC transition sounds. That's my little set of transition sounds that I've grabbed from around the place. Uh, and I should have Epidemic Sounds. There you go. So in here, this is all of the music that I've used across my weekly videos uh, and it's really helpful. So that now means that if I want to use one of those tracks, I can just easily grab it and drag it into the project that I'm using without having to go back to my finder and look around and find it, whatever. Um, and also that is a really good location. This, this main folder where I keep them is somewhere I use it regularly, it's on my hard drive. So if I download new music, I put it in that folder and I may need to restart Final Cut, but as this folder grows, they will automatically go into this folder here. And it just means, you know, those tracks that you use time and time again, or the sound effects that you use for different things from project to project, they're just there all the time. You don't need to worry about finding them, importing them every time. So yeah, that is it. Really simple, quick tip for how to get sound effects and music into the Final Cut library so that no matter which library you're working in and what project you're working on, those sounds and tracks are easily available to you every time you need them. So that's everything. Um, I hope you found that useful. And other than that, I'll see you next time.